Hi guys, welcome to this short video about the question what you can do or what I suggest to do if you're in the same situation and having this AMD bug report or it's saying AMD software detected that a driver timeout has occurred on your system. This is usually what you see after the display has been showing gray or black for a certain time. Then it came back with this error message course you can report that to AMD but usually it does not help also it's a lot of effort to fill in everything because they ask for a lot of information so this is what I've done just once and unfortunately I did not only have this problem with my current PC but also with my previous PC which also had some AMD Ryzen CPU and GPU so when you google for that this is what Google is usually showing of course most of the things which you find are saying that you have to clear the cache update your graphics card driver and so on and so on but the thing which finally helped me is hard to find so I'm going to show you what I did and that's the thing here go to the windows uninstaller search for amd and the thing which i'm going to uninstall is this one here the amd software also called adrenaline so you can just click here and click on uninstall i do this after i finish the video and not during the video of course but this is also what i did last time and it helped and the problems didn't come back because I mean this software is not needed you can do some optimization regarding your CPU and GPU but it's actually not needed and from what I can see it also causes a lot of problems so this is what I suggest at the moment go here and uninstall and then have no problems anymore of course you don't have all the options anymore but usually that's really not needed only when you want to do some overclocking or whatsoever maybe checking for the heat of the CPU and GPU but if you have problems you can install it again at any time check the temperature then uninstall it again but I'm definitely not recommending to leave it all the time running on your computer it would be a nice thing but unfortunately it looks like it's not stable and so this is it for now of course if you don't like uninstalling or you really need this software then you can try to update everything do some other things which you find here but I really can't help you too much with that because this is what I did just uninstalled and then the problem was solved. So that's it for now. I hope you've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or better solutions then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.